Well, Congress now has less than 24 hours to reach a budget deal before the government will run out of money. A shutdown is set to go into effect at midnight tonight. East Coast time, 9 o'clock hour time. But instead of working around the clock on a compromise, both the House and the Senate took the day off, putting hundreds of thousands of local military jobs at risk. Republicans rallied in front of Capitol Hill, pushing to keep the government working past Monday, but on the condition that health care reform is delayed by one year. It's a demand that local Congressman Daryl Issa tells 10 News even they know will be met with fierce opposition. The president has decided that he doesn't want to negotiate on any, on any basis, and that's regrettable. Even during the shutdown in 96, where Newt Gingrich and uh, President uh, Clinton were exchanging some of the awfulest statements publicly, they were talking constantly and they were negotiating. Congressman Scott Peters tells 10 News from Washington, D.C. that it's time to get things moving forward. It's a tremendously frustrating uh, time to be here. And, you know, I always say that um, I, I'm, I came here to get things done. I'm from San Diego. I don't come to Washington for the weather. I think it's time to sit down and roll up our sleeves and really move, move things forward. With the government shutdown, visa and passport applications for half a million people would sit untouched. Mortgages will be delayed for first-time home buyers, and some flood relief for Colorado will also be delayed. It could also mean drastic cuts to our military community, which makes up 22 percent of San Diego's job force, according to a report obtained by 10 News. With 302,000 military jobs in the county, San Diego is home to the largest concentration of military forces in the world. Saturday, the House approved a revised spending plan that includes that the U.S. military will continue to be paid in the event of a government shutdown. Caught in no man's land are hundreds of thousands of government workers facing foes. If they were to lose their paychecks like everybody else is going to lose their paychecks, that might motivate them to probably solve some of the problems that they're facing right now. 10 News will stay on top of tomorrow's developments out of Washington. You can get updates sent to your smartphone or tablet by going to 10news.com and clicking on mobile.